When working in Adobe After Effects, the most time-consuming part of your day is waiting for renders to complete. Rendering is very CPU intensive and uses a lot of RAM. The more complex the project, the more CPU and RAM it takes, and the less creative work you get done. That's why we created the After Effects rendering function on the platform. It allows your team to offload renders to the shared storage server from either a Mac or PC workstation and uses the significant power of the platform's CPU and RAM to crunch through renders while you get back to being more creative. Let's see how it works. Mac and PC workstations connected to the platform server can submit their rendering jobs to the platform render space and continue to work on their workstation. This automatically starts up the AE render engine on the platform, which begins processing the render. When the job is completed, the original project, input footage, and output are created in separate folders on the platform for quick access. Let's take a look at a live demonstration. So to start out here, we were on our Mac workstation. We have the platform client software open, and we've mounted a platform space called the Epic series. Uh, this is where we have also set it up as a AE render platform space, which will allow us to render jobs on the platform. And I'm going to come over here to After Effects real quick. So you can see we have uh, some footage here on the timeline. We've applied a number of different effects in, in the transform area, scale, uh, etc. for demonstration. And we have also gone ahead and added this project to the render queue. Now the way this works in After Effects is instead of rendering here directly on our machine as we normally do, we will come up to the file menu and we click on dependencies and then collect files. What that allows us to do is package up the entire project and submit it to the server for rendering. So we'll click on the collect button and we'll select the folder that we're working in. At this point we're working on the server in this platform space called the Epic Series Editing and in a folder under that called Big Render 1. And we'll just say we're going to put this project and have it render in Big Render 1 Folder 1. So what the system did is took the project that we have and it submitted it to the server. It was actually already on the server. It submitted it to the server in a different folder and now the server is going to go ahead and start crunching away on the render. And we can see the results of that when we simply look in this folder called Big Render 1 Folder 1. In a little bit we'll start seeing the log file created and the output starting to get created. So here you see the log file created um, which we can start monitoring the results and in here you see as the system starts to create the PNG frames as it renders away. Now the great part about this is as you're working this is happening on the server and then we can go back to After Effects or our other project and continue to work while the server is working away on that render. 